Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Alexis Cairo. November is Adoption Month, and today we have a very personal story about foster care from Janet McLean, who is a foster parent, and yes. you were a foster child yourself. Yes, I was. So you know what it's like. Yes, I do. It's, um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions mm -hmm. about foster children that that perhaps it was their fault or they're a bad child or, or something. In, in my case and in many cases, that's not true. Unfortunately, we were just born into a, you know, something that was beyond our control. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say children didn't ask to be born into right. to that, to that mess or, right. and so I just think it's important to remember when you hear foster, you know, foster children, foster kids, it's, doesn't it's not their fault. And so that led you to tell us about your family. So we've, I've, because of my situation when I was growing up, I was in foster care at two different times when I was younger and then when I was older. And I was actually adopted by my foster mm -hmm. parents. And so I always wanted to do foster care. You know, that was always a goal of mine. And so my husband and I thought about it and thought about it. And when the time was right, we started doing it. And we since have adopted, um, we have an almost eight-year-old and almost five-year-old little boy. And we fostered them for two years. And they weren't able to go back and reunify, so mm -hmm. they were available to us, and we adopted them because we were their family. Right. And then we currently have another um, little one right now. She's 19 months, and we're going to adopt her. So the so obviously the the priority I know is is to is to keep the child with their biological family right. if if possible. Right. But but it's not obviously from your experience. Um, and so what would you tell people out there about what, why would somebody want to foster children? Well, just the act of adoption is a huge act of love. Mm -hmm. And so and I, I feel like adoption from foster care just even takes it up another notch because you're, you're helping out a child that, you know, through no choice of their own has been born into right. a not so great circumstance. And, and how wonderful that you can offer them a, a loving and a safe and a secure family. You think some people are uh, they're nervous about about the prospect of maybe taking in a foster child? Is that a legitimate concern? Do you think? Yeah, I think that's a really good legitimate concern, and I think a lot of parents think about it, or a lot of um, prospective parents. The great thing is Utah Foster Care does actually really great training. They offer 32 hours of training before you ever even have a child placed with you. And that's awesome. You learn about trauma and neglect and just all the different aspects that could come with the child. And then after, there's also resources that are available to you that mm -hmm. you can um, go take more classes and learn more. And, mm -hmm. and that, that's a great help. So if that's a deterrent, I would hope that people would, would know that there really is a lot of help out there. Mm -hmm. And so um, you know what these children are going through, but, but maybe there may be other parents out there who, who don't, but, but you don't need to have gone through your experience to be a foster parent, to be a good foster parent, right? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. There's, if you have a loving heart, you know, compassion, and you, you know, just, it's really hard to see a child hurting or to know that a child is hurting and, you know, through no, no fault of their right. own, you know, and so it's just great that there are foster families. Mm -hmm that can take these children in and, and give them really what they deserve. Every yeah, child deserves, deserves yeah. a loving and a secure, you know, a secure family where they can feel safe. And, mm -hmm. and we know that there is an, a real, we only have about 30 seconds left, but there is a definite need for foster parents. Yes, there's a definite need for foster parents. The drug abuse is usually huge with the bio right. parents and right. they need to be. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful story. Thank you for being here to share it with us and for telling us about this important information. Thanks, yeah. Janet. You're welcome. Our guest today has been Janet McLean with Utah Foster Care. I'm Alexis Cairo, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Mm -hmm.